silane has the chemical formula SiH4. We notice that silicon is in the same chemical family as carbon, and we can think of the silanes as being the silicon analog of the alkanes. Instead of having carbon plus hydrogen, we have silicon plus hydrogen. Each silicon contributes four valence electrons. Each hydrogen contributes one valence electron. So for silane, we have an eight electron system and we can allocate our electron so that we satisfy the duet rule for each hydrogen and the octet rule for silicon. While we can create these silicon analogs of the alkanes, in general, the silanes are far more reactive than the alkanes are. Disilane has the chemical formula Si2H6, and we can think of it as the silicon analog of ethane. Each silicon contributes four valence electrons for a total of eight. Each of the six hydrogen atoms contributes one for a total of six among all six hydrogens for a total of 14 electrons for the system. If we connect all the atoms by single bond, we are able to satisfy the octet rule for each silicon and the duet rule for each of the hydrogen atoms. Silicon tetrachloride has the chemical formula SiCl4. We can think of it as the silicon analog of carbon tetrachloride, except that carbon tetrachloride is a rather inert compound, whereas silicon tetrachloride is extremely reactive. The silicon chlorine bond is very easily broken in the presence of moisture and it gives off um, hydrochloric acid as a byproduct and forms uh, silicon oxygen bonds. The silicon atom is going to contribute four valence electrons. Each of the chlorine atoms is going to contribute seven. So that gives us a total of 32 electrons for the entire system. And we're able to satisfy the octet rule for each of the chlorine atoms and for the silicon atoms by putting silicon in the center, which we'd expect because it's the most electropositive of the atoms in the compound. And we're able to uh, satisfy the rules using only single bonds. And we notice that because silicon and chlorine are in the third row or beyond, we can expand the octet, but in this particular compound, there's no need to. We satisfy the octet rule, but no further for each of the elements. Dimethyl dichlorosilane has the chemical formula SiCH32Cl2. This particular compound is incredibly important in the polymer industry because it is used to generate a class of important polymers, polymers called silicones. And we recognize that the silicon chlorine bond is easily cleaved, and eventually we have a silicon oxygen bond formed in its place. To generate the structure for this particular compound, we notice that each silicon contributes four valence electrons, each carbon contributes four valence electrons. So for these three atoms, that is a total of 12 valence electrons. Each of the chlorines contributes seven. So that is another 14. So that gives a total of 26. And then each of the hydrogens contributes one valence electron. So we have another 32 electron system. And by combining all the atoms by single bonds, we're able to satisfy the duet rule for hydrogen and the octet rule for carbon, silicon, and chlorine. Tetramethylsilane, TMS, has the chemical formula SiCl4. 
CH3-4. This compound is of tremendous importance in both organic and analytical chemistry because this is the reference standard for uh, proton NMR. So this is our reference for a uh, hydrogen nuclei. So this is typically added to NMR samples when we're trying to get the proton, the H1 spectrum. Each carbon atom is going to contribute four valence electrons. The silicon atom is going to contribute four valence electrons. And each hydrogen contributes one. So again, we have a total of 32 valence electrons to allocate among our molecule. One particular challenge to generating the Lewis structure for this compound, even though the bonding is relatively straightforward, it's all single bonds, is the fact that when we to draw the structure, the hydrogen atoms start to get in each other's way. So one way that we are able to do it in this particular system is that we can essentially fold back some of the hydrogen atoms so that we can see all of them simultaneously. So even though they kind of get in each other's way, we can detect which hydrogens go with which carbon to form the four methyl groups that are all attached to the central silicon atom. Silicic acid has the chemical formula H4SiO4. The silicon atom contributes four valence electrons. Each of the oxygens contributes six valence electrons. And the four hydrogen atoms each contribute one. So we have yet again another 32 electron system and we can allocate the electrons in such a way to satisfy the duet rule for each hydrogen, the octet rule for oxygen, and the octet rule for silicon without needing to expand the octet. Trisilane has the chemical formula Si3H8. Each silicon contributes four valence electrons. For a total of 12, the eight hydrogen atoms each contribute one for a total of eight, leaving a total of 20 valence electrons for this molecule, which we recognize as a sort of silicon analog of propane. We can allocate the electrons so that we satisfy the duet rule for each of the hydrogen atoms, and we can satisfy the octet for each silicon by making the molecule entirely with single bonds. Even though we could conceivably expand the octet for silicon, we have no need in this particular molecule to do so because we can satisfy the octet rule and the duet rules without expanding the octet. I thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good one.